Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're joining me today. Um, I am here bringing you your May 2018 channel messages from Spirit. So um, we'll go ahead and get started right away. Um, as you probably know, Uranus is moving into Taurus the middle of the month. This is going to be a major shift in energy for everybody, but for Aquarius, especially prepare for much more enlightenment, prepare for, um, your spiritual journey to really, uh, take the driver's seat and move you forward in a more spiritual direction. Um, some of you have been carrying something really, like exhausting with you. Um, for a group of you, this is a relationship. You have been really carrying the load of of the both of you. Um, not only that, but it's just been really emotionally draining. But you've been dragging it along with you for so long now. Um, for a group of you, you are going to end this relationship and end this burden and leave the heaviness behind. Um, for some of you though, I still see you trying to move it into the future. You guys are feeling really tired, really bogged down, really, really just overwhelmed and ready to give up. I'm hearing, let it go. It's time to let it go. Set it down and walk away. Um, you're going to feel so much lighter when you do this. Um, for a group of you, you're turning towards family for some support. Um, for a different direction that you want to move in life, but you're um, apprehensive, you're scared. You are really turning towards family and family is going to help support you in moving you along. So if you are confused about which way to go, which direction, reach out to your family. They're really going to be a big um, impact in the month of May and the beginning of June. Um, for a group of you, I see you, you are transforming yourself. You're transforming yourself to a new beginning and to a brighter future. Um, you know that, that things need to change. And you're taking the steps to do that. You are going to be successful in whatever it is that you are trying to shed of your old life. However, some of you need to be cautious of overindulging. Um, as overindulging in, you know, food, alcohol, sex, drugs, anything in excess, you need to really be cautious of. Because that's how you're dealing with your emotions. And it's not healthy. Um, the only way you will can properly deal with your emotions is with your emotions. You can never fix something um, or solve a problem with an outside source. So, you know, if you have to deal with your feelings, you have to use your feelings to deal with those, not alcohol. Or if you... Um, you know, you're stressed out. Like, I, you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> um, for a group of you, you are moving forward and moving to a different location. This is going to be a very exciting time for you. Um, for a group of you, you're worried about finding a job. Don't worry. Something's going to come through. Um, it's going to come through for you at the very last minute. Um, Make sure you are checking, um, I know this sounds dumb, but like the inside of like stores, like bulletin boards, because that's where I see you finding a job. Um, like maybe at your current employer, they have, you know, a billboard. Um, that's where I see you finding this job is a billboard somewhere. Um, yeah. Uh, for a group of you, this is a very important month. 
actually for the majority of you, very important in uh, releasing. You guys are releasing these chains that have held you down and stolen your happiness from you. Um, for some of you, yeah. Yeah, for some of you, somebody has been holding you back and it's causing you to lose sight of your truth. It's it's causing you to lose sight of your dreams, of your aspirations. Um, because everything you say you want to do, there's somebody right there saying you can't do that or that'll never work or why would you even think that? That's dumb. They're just trying to hold you back out of fear that you're going to move forward without them and be successful. Don't allow these people to um, take up your energy space. They are not in it for your best interests, only their own. Um, for some of you, in the next four weeks, and this is, I think this is the 13th of May, maybe. Um, in the next four weeks, your guys is, for a group of you, this is not everybody, um, your relationships are going to move to a rough place. Um, if you are already coupled with somebody, uh, you're going to experience some rough waters. This has to do with financial stress. Your partner is worried about finances or has, is dealing with something at work. This is outside of the relationship. Um, just be um, confident that this person is going to come out of this, that your relationship is going to make it because even though it's affecting your relationship, it is not happening for reasons that are between the two of you, but your partner's having a hard time expressing that. Um, they consider themselves the provider of the family. They, uh, they pride themselves on taking care of their partner and children if there's children involved. So they don't come forward with this, um, concern very often, but that's what's going on. They are going to get it figured out before the next four weeks is over. So just be patient with them, give them their space, you know, uh, let them vent, you know, and just know it's not you. Um, for a lot of you Aquarians, anyways, you are dealing with financial stresses. Um, some are suffering from headaches and, you know, anxiety because of this, uh, it's going to work out. You, you are going to be shown images or, um, it's going to come to you in the form of images, which is going to show you which way to go. And it's going to lead you out of this financial struggle. For some of you, it's changing jobs. For some of you, it's changing locations. For some of you, it's, um, cutting back. It's rebudgeting. It's, there's so many different um, avenues that this uh, is turning down that I couldn't possibly sit here and say them all. But um, for this group of you, you are going to get your solution in the form of an image. This could be in your dreams. Um, it could be driving down the highway and it you know, flashes through your mind. Uh, you could be reading the newspaper and something pops up about you. It's going to be something that you see, though. Um for a lot of you, you are turning your focus away from your relationships or lack of and focusing on work. You guys are really diving deep into, uh, into finding success within your workplace and finding fulfillment through that. Um, some of you are, however, starting new relationships this month. It'll be after the 15th of May when that sun moves into Taurus or uh, I'm sorry. Uranus moves into Taurus. Um, new relationships are coming to you. Uh, you guys are manifesting these into your life. These relationships are going to bring a breath of fresh air. They're going to be, um, for some of you, and this group of you that I'm seeing is older, like an older generation, like you're in your 50s and 60s. You've never been married. Um, you are finding love. They are coming into you. You... Um, you will be, you will marry before 
uh, before it's all said and done. And for this group of you, you're worried about that. You're like, you're wondering why, when, you know, so that message is for you. You guys have people coming in after the 15th of this month. For another group of you, um, you have life partners that you're calling in. Uh, these life partners, for a group of you, this is a fire sign male, um, very well established, very well grounded, um, successful, passionate, uh, Yeah, and you're going to meet them through your job, but you do not work together. Um, for another group of you, you are meeting them at a, uh, a public event. It looks like a concert to me or like it's, I don't know, it's an outdoor concert or something happening outdoors where there are a lot of people. Um, that's going to happen around the 19th and 20th of May. Uh, for another group of you, you are waiting for somebody to come back into your life. You were the third party to this person and you're waiting on them to end their relationship to come towards you. You could be, have separated from this person in the last six months. Um, after May 29th, when it moves into Sagittarius, uh, yeah, karmic relationships are coming to an end for the collective in a lot of different signs. But for you, especially Aquarius, uh, if you are in separation from somebody that you are waiting for them to end something with someone else, they are coming back. This is going to be in the about second or third week of June, but their karmic relationships are, hap are ending um, around the 29th or, or that three days after. Um, for those of you who, um, for those of you who are facing big decisions when it comes to your family, you're going to come to uh, a decision this month, and you are going to be successful with that decision. You have been um, stressing about this for about five to six weeks now. So, if you've had a major life decision that you have to make, um, this is for you. You are going to make the decision. You're going to move forward and it's going to be the right one for you and your family. Um, life for Aquarius in general is about to have with this new shift of energy, a really good positive, um, so what I'm looking for like adjustment, readjustment, um, Things are going to start falling into place for you in ways that you didn't think were possible. It's going to, um, it's going to make you feel like it's just, this is too good to be true. How could this be happening? Like there's no explanation for it, but when this starts to rearrange and fall into place, a new passion is going to be grown inside you. New ideas are going to be coming to the surface and you are going to really be putting your best foot forward with these projects. Um, May 30th is a big day for a group of you. There's a certain person in your life that you've been really confused about what to do with, about what to do about, whether to keep them in your life, whether to cut them out, whether to take them back, whether to, um, give them a second chance. Confusion about this person is going to come clear something or some kind of information. I'm sorry, my hair keeps standing on in. Um, something or some sort of information is going to come to you on the 30th of May. This is going to help you, um, really clear out the energy of confusion. And it's really going to set you in a direct path that you are meant to take with or without this person. It's going to be different for everybody. Um, but you are going to know what to do. Um, around the first or second of June, a group of you are going to be, um, Talking about travel, uh, this could be travel for work. This could be travel with your family, but you're going to be um, planning a trip. You are anxious about this trip and are wondering if you should go. Definitely go. Um, you're worried about finances with that. You're going to be able to make it. You're going to swing it. It's going to be okay. Just take that trip. You need some time away. Take the family, take your friends, whoever, and get out of 
um, your everyday life for a couple of days. Enjoy the nature of being in a different place, the different surroundings. It's going to bring you inspiration to an area in your life. Um, around the 22nd or 23rd, a group of you are going to f- uh, come into a situation that you're not going to be happy about. It's going to, the situation is going to arise, but it's going to cause you to go within and, and, um, and have deep reflection on yourself. It's going to allow you to get to the root of the problem or the root of the situation. And even though it's going to be hard, it's, you know, for some of you, I see you teary. Um, it's going to be hard to have that reality be slapped in your face, but it's only going to cause you good. I promise because in this self-reflection in this, um, moment of deep reflection, you are going to find balance energetically and you're going to find, uh, you're going to find answers to your problem, whatever that major problem is that you have been facing. Um, for a majority of you, this is with a relationship. It's going to all come clear to you. <clears throat> Even if it's hard, it's still worth it. Um, like I said, after the 29th, karmic relationships are coming to an end. Um, for those of you in the twin flame journey, um, this is an important message for those of you who have been in separation for at least 14 months from a year to 14 months, you're missing something. There's something, I mean, it's time for your union to be here or your reunion to be here, but there's something within that you have not dealt with. You have to heal from that before your partner can come back to you. This has to do with, um, well, there's a couple different groups for one, for a group of you, it has to do with something that, um, is seeded from your childhood. You have to, uh, work through that with a family member or, um, I mean, not necessarily with a family member, but you have to move past whatever happened with that family member to, in order to move forward and to heal from that. Otherwise, um, that person is not going to come back into, um, your life for reunion for a different group of you. There's, um, something that you have to, uh, have to heal from. And it has to do with, uh, past heartbreak past. Yeah. Something that you are not releasing from a past relationship or, um, a past heartbreak that you have not gotten over. You need to uh, allow those scars to come to the surface and um, to deal with those because that's keeping your, your partner from returning from you. Um, for another group of you in the journey, if you have been in um, separation from this person for For three plus years. Yeah, for at least three years. Your person is healing and will be coming back to you or contacting you in around the second or third week of June. Um, they are contacting you to let you know that they are um, moved forward from the person that they were currently with. Um, And they're wanting to know what you want to do from here, where you're wanting to go from here. For those of you who have been in separation for a little under three months, your partner is also reaching out to you, but they're they're not done healing. So just be prepared for that, that they won't be sticking. Or, I mean, this, they're not coming back for good yet. Um, they miss you and they just want to hear your voice. They want to connect with you. And then they're going to ghost again um, just because they're not done healing. For those of you who are waiting on a soulmate to return, 
for a group of you, I see they're like in the military. Um, they will be returning the beginning of August. If they are stationed over in the Middle East. Yeah, the beginning of August, they're going to be returning. But for a different group of you, if you are in separation from a soulmate, um, you keep uh, reaching out. I'm sorry, I got to close my window because it's really cold. A cold breeze just came through. So um, for those of you who are wanting to hear from a soulmate, you are... Uh, messaging them and messaging them and they're not responding. Take a step back. Stop messaging them. Um, you're, you're making them run uh, more by uh, being so aggressive. So uh, it's time to take a step back and just kind of do your own thing. And you'll be amazed at how fast they will come back to you when they realize that you're no longer worried about what they're doing and where they're at and why that you're not talking to them and you're doing your own thing out with your friends doing you, um, it's going to cause them to, um, almost panic and wonder why you're not trying to get a hold of them and they will return very quickly. Um, so just take a chill pill and, uh, and because they're watching you, they're watching your social media. They're, they're keeping up with you. Um, they're watching your friends, social media, like they know what you're up to. Uh, so just, you know, put it out there that, that you're doing your own thing and they'll be back, uh, end of June. If you guys take a breather, um, around the 20th, anywhere from the 20th to 23rd, you guys are going to have an opportunity that just comes to you. Um, you're not going to have to look for this. It's going to find you, uh, this opportunity is going to give you huge advancement in an area of your life, whether this be work or whether it be a re relationship. Um, this is a huge opportunity. For a group of you, um, you're over worrying, you're stressed out, you're fearful of the future. Um, that worrying is really preventing you from being happy. Let go of that worry. There's nothing to worry about because worry doesn't solve anything. What's coming for you is coming for you. What isn't, isn't. So just enjoy the moment. Um, things always work out in one way or another. So don't let it steal your happiness. Uh, for those of you who are married and are suspicious of your spouse having a third party um, because they're, they seem closed off, they seem distant, uh, they are worrying, they are over worrying about something as well. There is no, I don't see any third party uh, for this group. Um, they're stressed out about something. And they're not sharing it with you, but there is nobody else. So you can relax. Um, for a group of you, uh, you're worrying about a third party. Also, these are people just dating very young, very um, immature in the relationship, like six months in or less. You're worried about someone else, them having somebody else. Um, Spirit's saying, listen to your intuition. Listen to your gut. Um, the signs are in front of you. So when you see them, don't, um, ignore the signs or, uh, justify the signs because they are right in front of you. Um, yeah, as a collective, your guys' energy level is going to ascend to a higher level than you guys have ever experienced. Um, Uranus moving into Taurus is a huge deal for Aquarians, uh, spiritually, energetically, uh, huge shifts like paradigm shifts. It's going to like, it's going to happen so fast that you're not even going to realize it happened. Like you're going to be like, 
well, yesterday it was like this, today it's like this. When the heck did that change? You know, it's just going to flip. And thank God, too, because you I don't think you guys can handle any more energy weighing you down. Um, you guys are going to find your truth this month. You guys are going to... You guys are going to find expansion, um, especially in your home. You guys are going to find success and work ideas. Those of you who are um, following your dreams and um, starting new ideas, new passion, don't give up because uh, you're going to find success. Your past is your past. Focus on your future. That was important for somebody to hear because that's what I kept hearing. Um, For a group of you, you're wondering why you're not moving forward in life, um, in your career, in your relationships, anything. Um, be careful of those that you surround yourself with. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard, like, your tribe defines your vibe. Well, if you are surrounding yourself with low vibrational people, you're not going to put off a very good frequency, a very good uh vibration so make sure you're surrounding yourself with good people good situations and you'll be amazed at how your opportunities are going to start showing up at your door um for some of you you're feeling like you missed an opportunity at work don't worry nothing that's meant for you will pass you by so if you feel like you missed that big opportunity don't because you guys have an even better one coming forward coming to you. This will be coming to you in the first two weeks of June. So don't lose focus. Uh, yeah, there's nothing you guys can't manifest this month. You guys are finding big success um, in the end of May, after the 15th of May into the about 20th of June, your guys' energy uh, shifts are going to bring welcomed changes um, reconstructions to reconstruction to your life. Um, yeah, reflection, you know, inner wisdom for some of you, you're starting school this summer. Um, just stay optimistic and hold on to your dreams, hold on to your visions because times get tough, but those who never lose sight will see it through. So, um, just hold on to those dreams and keep plugging away. Uh, it's been a heavy two months for you guys. It's been a heavy 2018 so far. Um, but you guys have big things coming in. You have new relationships. You have your soulmates, life partners, twin flames. They're all returning. Um, for that group of you, make sure you're doing some self-reflection, figuring out what that is you're missing. Um, the universe is trying to show something to you to allow you to know what you need to heal and you're missing it. You're passing it by because you're worried about where they're at and what they're doing. So um, don't don't become overwhelmed. It's going to all work out. I think that's all I have for you guys. You guys are really, um, you're really getting your inspiration and hope back for the future, which is amazing. You should. You guys have big things coming in, big choices, big decisions, big moves. So um Also, the 30th is very important. I just got this. The 30th is very, very important um, for those of you looking for a job. If you have a job interview scheduled on the 30th, um, you're going to get the job. Walk in there like you already have it. Show confidence because that's what they're looking for. Somebody who's very confident in their work. And um, by walking into that interview, acting like you already have the job, um, it's going to show huge, huge um, potential to this person that's interviewing you. And you will end up getting the job. And this is one that you have been hoping for. And that's why you're so nervous. So if you have an interview scheduled on, I'm seeing Wednesday the 30th. Um, yeah, go in there like you already have it. I mean, don't obviously walk in there and be like, when's my first paycheck? Like, I got this. But um, just you know, have that confidence level of, you know what, 
I got everything they want. So I don't have to sell myself. Just be confident and you will get the job. So guys, that's all I have for you. I am sorry this is so late. We've been battling the stomach flu in here. So um, I meant to do your guys' the other day and I had to pick up my son from school who was sick and then I got sick. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. You guys are going to have a wonderful next couple weeks. Um, enjoy that energy shift that's coming in um, with Uranus transiting into Taurus. Um, enjoy the moon that's moving into Sagittarius on the 29th of June. That's when the huge changes in relationships are going to come and uh, new passion and inspiration coming your way. So I wish you guys all love, light, and God bless.